Today we're going to be tying a bubble caddis dry fly. I was taking inventory in my fly boxes and noticed that I was really low on these, only had a couple left. This is actually a fly that I fished a few years back very successfully. It was actually my go-to dry fly and I kind of got away from it. Probably because I didn't have a lot in the box anymore. So we're going to tie some up. Already tied up a bunch and we're going to tie up a few more to add to my collection there. Give some to my wife and get back on the water with these. These actually probably about three four years ago I was using these a lot. Very very easy to tie. Very easy. Very effective and uh, very buoyant. So what I have is a saber size, what I got in there, size 14 dry fly hook. Just standard, standard length, standard uh, bend. And the thread I'm going to be using is Danville 6 aught 70 to there. So I'll just go ahead and start with a few wraps backwards to the about the top of the bend of the hook on along the way there. Go ahead and give yourself a little cut the thread there. Carbage can a little closer. Bring the thread back, top of the bend of the hook. And you're going to go ahead and tie in a couple small strands of EP fibers. EP fibers are something I've been working with for some time now. I noticed one thing about the fibers though. They uh, really shrunk down the amount that comes in the pack. Used to get a rather large pack and I noticed this year, mainly this year, I went to go buy another pack and I got half the materials for the same price which I was a little disappointed on that but it's a good product, well worth it. So, take a few strands of EP fibers. I'm going to take actually a few of those out. That's too many strands. Alright, take a few strands of your EP fibers. Go ahead and lay it right on top of the hook. And wrap it in. Then wrap it up forward there you're gonna trim away the excess in a second here but you want to make sure it's nice and secure all right cut away the excess and now you want to cut these to length you don't want them very long just the same length as the oak shank or so save the excess uh, there for your next fly And now, you're going to grab another much larger batch of the EP fibers. You can make this a really fat fly or a medium fat. You don't want it thin because you want these fibers to be doing the job of holding it up. So, I'm going to take about this many. And then I'm going to hold them together on one end. I'm going to trim them off so I have a nice clean surface to work with. Oh, a little straggler there. Good time in. Bring them back to the top of the bend of the hook there. Perfect. Now you're going to add a little bit of dubbing. 
what I'm gonna be using on this is a laser dry fly dubbing. It uh, has a lot of flash in it. You get it at the local fly shop there. I'm not sure if it's made who it's made by. It says uh, permanent waterproof premium ice dubbing laser fine. I don't know what kind of good stuff on there. Cheap though. Two fifty a pack. I know I've mentioned many times in my other videos that I make my own dubbing, but when I see something that cheap and that I like to uh, experiment with different stuff and that this actually works pretty good. So lay your dubbing right on top of your thread and spin it on. All you want to do is coat your thread. You want your noodle just to be a little bit bigger than the actual thickness of the thread. You don't want a bunch of dubbing on there. The more dubbing you put on there, the harder it is to work with. Go ahead and spin it on. And as you go up, adjust it. Spin it on a little more on your thread. Go back up a couple more wraps. And do the same. Probably got to put a little more dubbing on there. Let's see how, how I get up here. Uh, I'll tell you what, let's go just a little bit more. Like all dry flies, you don't want to crowd, or any fly actually, you don't want to crowd the eye of the hook. But you uh, still want to have enough dubbing on there to make it look nice. Alright. Now, what you're going to do is take your EP fibers and bend it over top. And from here, I like to advance my fingers about one fly length, one length of that shank. Take it back. Give it a pinch and tie it in. And from here, lift your fibers up, tie off in front, and cut them away nice and close. Save that for your next fly. We'll wrap that in a little bit. For now, we're going to add some deer hair. In the stacker, I got some just uh, belly hair. Same uh, same deer hair I used on the last video. Had it out. The amount of deer hair I'm using is about that much, not very much at all. And you're going to let it spread out a little bit. You know, you don't want a very tight uh, deer hair wing. The caddis actually has a pretty big wing, about the same size as that bubble there. So Measure it out. You want this to be a little longer than your bubble you just made. Go ahead, grip it. I'm going to give it one wrap around the deer hair before you tie it on the hook. Go ahead, tie it on. Don't tie it through too many of the uh, bad ends of the deer hair. Let's give it a couple good wraps. And pick up the front of your deer hair. Okay, wrap it in. To 
make a little head there. Take your whip finisher, or you can do some half inches. It's up to you, however you uh, feel like going about it here. Cut the thread away. And now you want to make a little caddis head. What I like to do is gather all the, the ends there. And pull. See if I got them all. Yeah, pull straight up. Cooperative. All right, pull straight up, and at the same angle as this back wing right here, that's the angle I want my head to be. Yep, missed it some. That's okay. Doesn't have to be precise, but. Precise enough. See how that looks there. See how the wind kind of folds over top of the bubble there. The caddis wind kind of drapes over the side there, and so is this. Okay, now we're gonna use a little UV finish. Quick and easy. Floats very well. Take your uh, bucket, put a little UV finish on it. Coat the bottom of it. Get in there a little bit. In between the eye there. Don't want that thread coming apart on you. Give it a zap. And there you have it. You have yourself a bubble caddis made with EP fibers. I also make these with uh, CDC feathers, which I'm going to do that next. You can compare the two. So the next video will be the CDC. But honestly, this is the one I use most. CDC looks a little more buggy. This one here rides real nice. It uh, fast water, it doesn't uh, swamp it, and fish love it. Okay, hope you liked the video. If you uh, have any uh, questions, go ahead and leave me a comment. If you like it, give me a like. Give me a subscribe if you haven't yet. All right, thanks. Stay safe out there. Appreciate it.